it is about a 56 year old male who presented with complaints of fever from 7 days he also complains of joint pains and myalgias developed an erythematous rash over cheek this is in a butterfly pattern erythematous rash sparing of nasolabial nasolabial fold that is classic of sle so even the fever joint pain myalgias and weight loss anorexia these symptoms are also suggesting an autoimmune disease like sle he is hypertensive on medications telmisartan metoprolol and was on regular follow up and the patient said his bp was 16120 when an additional drug was added so investigation showed normal hemoglobin normal wbc count normal platelet count and elevated esr and uh, ana titers elevated elevated ana and esr again point to an inflammatory uh, reason here it is an additional drug which is causing these sle symptoms so it is drug induced sle to know to choose the correct option you should know about uh, the side effects of different types of hypertensives so the first drug is amlodipine it is a calcium channel blocker so the side effects of calcium channel blockers are um flushing in the face because calcium channel blockers are uh, vasodilators calcium is required for muscle contraction especially smooth muscle contraction so calcium channel blockers what they do are they cause relaxation of blood vessels so side effects are um, related to the vasodilation so flushing and most common side effect patients complain of is ankle edema and other symptoms related to the low blood pressure which are dizziness and uh, fainting episodes a uh, specific side effect related to nifedipine is gingival hyperplasia so nifedipine and amlodipine these are non dihydropyridine calcium channel blockers these act on the blood vessels unlike the dihydropyridine calcium channel blockers like viram virapamil which acts on the heart and it does not have these side effects so the next drug is captopril which is an ace inhibitor so what these drugs do are they inhibit the conversion of angiotensin 1 to angiotensin 2 angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitors so since uh, angiotensin 2 is required for the degradation of bradykinin uh, reduced amounts of angiotensin 2 will lead to increased bradykinin and the side effects are related to that which is dry cough and other side effect of these ice inhibitors hyperkalemia you should check the potassium levels regularly when patients are on ace inhibitors so the next option we would see is hydralazine so hydralazine might be causing the sle here so other drugs which cause sle drugs inducing sle are can be remembered with a small um, mnemonic which is ship stand in a queue to get in the ship so quinidine sulfasalazine hydralazine isoniazid procainamide and penicillamine so these are the drugs which cause sle and the last option is spironolactone Okay, the next option is levetolol, which is a beta blocker. So, levetolol is actually both alpha and beta blocker. It acts on both alpha and beta receptors. So, since it acts on beta one and beta two receptors, beta two receptors are found in the bronchus, and you know, beta two agonists like salbutamol, albuterol are given for asthmatic. So, this blocks beta two as well. So, that can lead to bronchoconstriction and uh, exacerbation of symptoms in asthmatic so it is usually avoided in asthmatic patients so side effects can be shortness of breath and wheezing for labetalol and the last drug is spironolactone spironolactone is an uh, it acts by inhibiting aldosterone so aldosterone antagonist so side effects are hyperkalemia it's a potassium sparing diuretic spironolactone so side effects could be increased uh, levels of potassium hyperkalemia and also it is an anti androgenic drug so it leads to gynecomastia uh, as a side effect in males